Alright. Working out those shiny objects. Okay. Try not to waste time. Nice try. Hooray! Like, I think you can just make, like, one little cut like that. could probably do it for you in terms of saving enough time to lead the time challenge. As I said, it doesn't really matter much getting the uh, kind of corners and things like that to do your time as much as it matters actually completing the course in one run. And just in general figuring what the fastest path is. Keep in mind that I could actually hit that button to have to uh, get the giant snowball earlier and then on uh, a separate one I could go through that exit. Oh, also something I should probably note is that it's a bit late to say it, but the uh, orange things uh, only need a uh, single jump to Jump still you know, always be marked with paint or you'll call it. Orange only requires a, a single jump, usually at least. And blue pretty much always requires a double jump. So color color for your convenience. Ski lift. Okay, so let's try not to Oh god. I was not I I kind of regretted doing that instantaneously. I still do, given that that was very close. But anyways, I do believe we're about at the end, and we should make it in time. Yeah, I suppose coming that one corner wasn't necessary, because I only had five seconds left. But anyways. Let's go return for our reward, and we'll actually be mostly finished up with this place. We get a lot of golden sp actually get a lot of golden spatulas pretty easily here. SpongeBob, you beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Okay then. Uh, of course, for the cost of a few shiny objects, but still. And then you can given that you can only get like one spa spatula here without paying anything. Alright. So, sky's like normal, and we can now afford this. Well, still having 2,000 shiny objects, which I'm not sure what I wanted those for. Anyways. Nothing special here. Just dive straight down. We're halfway through the game. 58 spatulas. Alright, so with all that done... Oh, don't have that yet. Uh, I do believe it's time to take on Industrial Park. So we will be progressing to three area of the game. <laughs> hey, Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. No. What? Who said he could do that? Me. I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's well, he knows the now. Most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. How do you know that? And Squidward's eyelids are a bit desynced. I want the worm now! Where is he? I enjoy that though. So, I wish I could have some kind of like epic thing. Uh, or cliffhanger before taking on the actually somewhat difficult boss here at Industrial Park, but whatever. And I can just walk right through that. Let's say toll. Let's that say. Let's say anything. No, that says toll. I'm not paying anything. 
But anyways. This fight, this fight is rather hard. I'm not a fan of it. Nope. Music's nice though. That makes sense. I never know, so there's actually a door here. And of course, it's complicated. Oh, there's no excuse for the, the last two boss fights being commentated, but whatever. And as you can see, there's a person scooting over there. So, uh, this is simple enough. A bit tedious, but basically just avoid his attacks up until he leaves himself, leaves himself open. If he does hit you, he'll actually stop him leaving himself open. And just take on a bubble ball on his back. And just wait from there. It will get harder as it progresses. It's not too much different for Sandy either, it really is just the, the same thing, except you're going to be making use of these hooks up in the air that have been dangling. This will be a lot more This will get a lot more difficult though in the uh, third. Third. In the final third of this fight, the last three hits are the ones that annoy me the most. That's those are the ones that are actually the reason why I dislike this fight. He seems to have like a natural avoidance when it comes to you. Like there seems to be some sort of an area where he won't attack you. Maybe just an area they won't attack and starts with you. I don't know. You have to keep moving though, not get out, I'm quite sure of that. It's a soft struck though, I have to hit so many times. Oh well. I never understood why his hands just appear there. Her pupils are dilating. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Actually, I find that rather amusing, given what I know about basic expressions and doing what dilating pupils means. But anyways, all right. So let's click on these. Doesn't the matter right now. Down. But That's hit him and go well. Bring that box, as you can see, which now you can see the use for. And he now has a bit more of a shotgun esque attack. Continuous shotgun spray. I don't know, it's compared with a shotgun. But, anyways, he has individual shots, and he also has his freeze breath, which will freeze you, and then you will then shoot the glob at you. Instead of just making you out, though. So you don't get much use out of these boxes while he's not like that. Right, so pulling, so pulling a uh, pulling one of these when he's down will actually put it right behind him. Damn it! That was a doozy. Yeah, tax is a tad annoying. It's really just well. It's really just hitting him once you, uh, in the last third, that's the annoying part, because you can't use platforms, you have to, looks like that should have hit me. You have to make use of, there you go. Whoa. You have to make use of the bubble ball instead of using the platforms, which is a tad harder. Um, not to mention that you're on a bear belt. It's time to roll it's all stiff. Some robot punishment. That does it. Yeah. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Actually, I'm not sure if he used that freeze attack in the second round or whatever you want to call it. Second part. Third. Anyways. Pretty much the same thing, except it's a bit annoying. You also have to actually. He will. Per what? 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 Oh, okay. 
Back in the fight. Okay. So, after that, uh, we need falls over heal now. Actually, face outwards or inwards. So that his back will be showing, so you can have a decent chance of hitting him. You have to. He won't. He'll be somewhere random. He won't actually try to be near you, and you'll just have to. Crap. Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! I noticed. I don't think we have enough time. Dude. I see a prime bowling moment right here. You get a lot more time than I thought. That's Dude, you get a lot of time. Remember in the Sunshine movie video game, you actually get damaged by touching liquids instead of just being pushed back. It's just actually kind of annoying. Anyways, that's a bit off topic though. Back to the fight. I'm not sure if these can be able to actually switch direction or not. There's another opportunity for SpongeBob. Definitely always charge up your uh, ball ball to the max though. I think it may just get up quicker as it goes. There you go. Uh, I think they do keep going in constant direction with uh, always going towards the starting platform and these the uh, far ones always going go. counterclockwise. Well, to the rest. Come on, this text. This text never hurt. That hits me. And back to the all started. SpongeBob. Take that. No charge at all. So it's spontaneous explodes. Thanks for nice saving end. me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. You know that oh, being yes. a self-destruct run was really just a wild guess. I think I have fudge in my pants. Well. And on that note, we progress to the third area I'm of the game. Sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. One second. You will get all of them. Yes, Except for it's one, the Chum Patrick's Bucket Security stupid. System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. <sighs> Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. Okay, then. So, you designed a security system that requires golden spatulas. So, what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chub bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Nice bronze. Pots. Mm, something's fishy here. We're all fishy, nub. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> Not sure they do. Hey, you call them your robots? No. I and I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said "Property of Plankton." Well, maybe. But I and I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Oh, you didn't even make it yourself. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. <laughs> I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm going to tell everyone. Doesn't even seem all the thunder deek is going to like here. There's actually a decent amount of shine objects to be made by destroying things. Fine. Tell everyone, be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. <laughs> Maybe this day won't be my. All right. So uh, we haven't actually been told yet, but there is indeed something that we have that we have acquired. That is a something that I will show in a moment. And over here is the. Yes. Hello. Oh, I need one more to go there. Alright. So, over here is the movie theater I was talking about. May I help you? 
May I help you? Yeah, be that expensive. Uh, you don't like get all too much from it. Well, it's just concept art actually, but I will be going there after some grinding off screen. So before we get the uh, spatula and going under with this area, I'm going to talk to buddy. I got the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. It is. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Lulu. Super pinky shake on it. Doesn't have pinkies. I would if I had pinkies. Damn it! I explained a joke. Here, I'll blow you some. Or I predicted that. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. A whole ten cents. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. I never noticed that there was a face on the little sponge ball thing. It's creeping me out. Wow! Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. Like five or six seconds. I'm a bubble blowing machine. So it's a decent amount of time. All right, so I can do this. You can start to aim, you know, it doesn't really matter, you probably already aim where you need to go. And it also does, well, I at least remember it doing, splash damage as well. I do believe you hit two of these at once. Pretty good. Just in order to hit it. But anyways. Yeah. It'll also uh, tell you what you can hit with it, for instance. Hang a little. Fogs appear on, that, on these buttons. Oh, that's really just for show. It does do splash damage, which is really nice. You can also... ...destroy these. And if you get a near miss on something, just... It's ...press stop trigger again. Uh, when you're close to it, and... Sorry about that. And uh, the splash damage may take care of it. Got a nice view of Cup Forest from here. Uh, I really do not like Elf Forest. So anyways. You know, I don't really make much use of this move throughout the game. And you do make use of it just that much. Alright, so anyways, over to the Krusty Krab. Wow! Six pairs of underwear! I am one unbeatable sponge! Yep! Alright, so with that, I suppose I'll be ending this episode. Uh... Goodbye to everybody. This is Lunar Rising. See you next time. Goodbye. SpongeBob. Alright, welcome back. So, uh, I just said goodbye a couple times ago, and I'm still in the same recording session. Anyways, I am going. We're still kind of exploring our new area we have been introduced to having destroyed the Patrick Robot in Industrial Park, and I'm apparently having trouble talking now. And so we're now in the What's final wrong, third of the Mr. game. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. So this is the robot clearing area for They've booted me out this place. And worse! They've got hold of me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, oh, he does. are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Alright then. Well, before I do that, I'm going to destroy these. Also, the final... Final or second... It was the last or second last, I believe. Shiny object they ever got. Uh, it's not they ever got in the game. Okay, I thought that was supposed to be the other direction. Over here, if you hit the dumpster, kind of, not something you'd expect to do, but whatever. Alright, so onwards into the Krusty Krab. We have a hell of a lot of robots to deal with. Also some there's also a robot that we have not yet dealt with that we have. Okay, apparently he died. Um... Uh, That leaves me in my dust kind of hit with is by those robots that I was talking about. Enough of your lemon flavored, lemon lime or whatever flavored beans. Yeah. 
I think this is the only duplicatron here, though, so that's not much of a problem. So after that, it's not much of a problem. And also, their beams have to touch you for a moment to actually hurt you, so... You can also move away from me. Damn it. You know, aim isn't all too great. God. Down horribly. Alright, so there's also another shiny object you can get here. Shiny object. A sock you can get here by destroying absolutely everything. I think this was the last sock I ever got in the game. Uh, I'm not even sure 100%. Oh. Also, if you leave here and come, if you leave here and come back in again, there will be a mime on the window for whatever reason. Anyways, so there's a reason that this is actually the last sock I ever got. I just assumed I had already gotten it, but then I also looked around and saw I'd gotten every other sock uh, in between the bottom. So I feared that this probably had to have been it. Uh, having heard that you have to destroy everything, that's the clock that gets shown in, uh, the Squeaky Boots episode. Uh, so I went ahead and destroyed everything. I think Smash Damage really doesn't work for here. But I failed to realize... Uh, it wasn't until somebody... Oh, there's also this. Not sure if that counts. Uh, somebody on Game FAQs eventually told me uh, that I can destroy those. I did not expect that. I don't think many people did. Anyways, I can go ahead and get this sock, which I believe is indeed the last sock in Bikini Bottom. Apparently a task we have not yet received. Oh, yeah, I do know what that is. I will uh, go get this area's TV broadcast and pick that up. Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. You're already worried about your Here, money. Take this as your reward. Gracias. Okay. Oh, that looked out of the actually. Alright, so head on into the robot headquarters. Obviously, no ice drum bucket. Uh, walk around again, because everything's all normal. And this will happen. This will happen every time you enter the area, but you can skip it. have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. What? Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! Well, thanks. Then it proceeds to explode. They food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Love, a little situational labyrinths characters have. Anyways, oh wait, it looks like I can actually afford getting the, uh... Looks like I can actually afford to finally pay Mr. Krabs a bit. Anyways. Oops. Those are just displays. You get a lot of shiny object from Sonic Deku's, so... Let's do those every once in a while. You know, also, or actually, I thought I had a few more spatches than that. Uh, so we don't need too many more spatches to uh, prepare to end the game, actually. Or actually end the game. Of course, I'm going to be getting uh, as much as possible for that. So anyways, there is this spatula up here. You can get by doing a rather somewhat hidden wall jump. I assume you cannot reach like that. This is known as that one is out of the sink. A wall drop in the a wall drop in the bucket. Anyways, so we're done with Bikini Bottom itself for now. Uh, well, at least the terrain like. Uh, there's some scraps to it. So, 
Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Ac Alrighty. Actually, no. Because, uh... You have to spend a good deal of shiny objects here in the next area, which I'm not going to be spending too much time in, because I'm going to be recording for a little over 10 more minutes. So I drop stream. I kind of like this place, but it's a bit of a bitch conqueror. And even though it seems you're supposed to do go through this place first, uh, there's a robot you encounter that you don't actually get introduced to, into, not introduced to until another area.